Welcome to the Real Estate Marathon Podcast, your guide in the race to financial freedom through real estate investing and sound financial practices. This podcast is for anyone interested in learning more about real estate investing, personal finances, and a new take on traditional retirement. Now, here are your hosts, Larry Fierro and Mike Moe. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Real Estate Marathon Podcast, your guide on the race to financial freedom through real estate investing and sound financial practices. This is your Monday morning motivation edition, where we follow up on our call to action from your previous episode. Uh, We hit you with a little motivation to start your Monday morning off right, and then we tee up the episode to come. And Mr. Fierro, what's going on, man? Oh, man. I can sum it up in one word, man. Pumped. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I've, I've been at a high level of pumped lately. I mean, for like the last two months since I oh, it, did it line up. State. I was oh going to say, did it line up with you, uh, you know, leaving your position and you know, yeah, going full time yeah. and real just, investor? Just started getting pumped. And then like, I've kept the, the adrenaline level really high nonstop for two months. And I think I might need a nap, you know, just, <laughs> yeah. just maybe a 15 minute power nap. And I think I'll be good to go. Just go go spend another couple of days in the woods, calm down, and then come back and let's let's kill this again. Oh, believe it or not, I don't have anything planned for this weekend. For no camping, camping trips? No. No. Oh. I, got, I got some real estate on the agenda. There you go. Yep. yep. Love that too. So Yep. So how's everything in Minnesota? Fantastic, man. It's uh it's a it's a beautiful summer months out here in Minnesota. Hot, but you know, I'm not gonna complain because eight months out of the year, we're buried in snow. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take this and, and be happy with it. There you go. So our call to action last week, man, we're kind of tying it in with our Monday morning motivation. Don't you think? We certainly bit? are, man. Hendra and Mercy really, uh, really, really hit us deep last episode, man. And they hit us with the, the three T's time, treasure, and talent. And you know, that was the call to action from the last episode, right? You have one of these three, whatever it is, figure out what it is so you can bring it to the next partnership, the next deal, the next relationship that you engage with. But the, the time is obviously maybe that maybe you're part time and you got a little bit more time on your hands to go chase deals and, and go mm-hmm. dig into things. Maybe it's treasure and you got a little bit more money on your hands, but you don't have as much time. And then maybe it's talent. Maybe you're really good at doing something. Maybe you're good at really good at building relationships or underwriting deals deals and that you can bring that to the table. So you have one of these threes and it can really add value to a relationship and to a deal. So figure that out and see what you can bring to the next, uh, you know, interaction that you have. No matter who you are, you've got one of those three things that you can offer people. And that was one of the things that Hendra and Mercy said that they were coming to terms with. And their yeah. episode was they, they got to the point where they got outside their comfort zone because all of a sudden they realized they have one of those three T's that they can offer people and people actually want to talk to them and they want to hear what they have to offer. So the yeah. key for you guys is you have to step back, take a look at yourself, figure out what you have to offer to get involved in some of these multifamily deals that you're interested in, or even, you know, your duplex, triplex, or whatever you're doing to race the the financial race to financial freedom. You know, you just got to sit there and figure out what you're bringing to the table, get outside your comfort zone, because that's where all the growth happens and you'll be much better off at the end of it. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's a kind of a recurring theme as we talked with, um, you know, Kyle Mitchell today that, you know, which the, you know, everybody will hear in a couple of weeks when we launch this episode, but he talked about having talents from previous positions that really helped his real estate investing. So, you know, I think it helps with knowing real estate, knowing what types of talents or which types of skills are really beneficial and then figuring out, you know, what you've learned in your previous life, what you've learned in your previous roles that have really set you up and how you can add value in these different real estate scenarios or, you know, maybe it's not even real estate, maybe it's something else, but how you can take previous learnings and things that you have skills that you've kind of crafted over the years and apply that to what you want to do now. So it's really, you know, once you think about it, you really find a handful of skills that you can really offer it to people. It's, it's one of those things that once you figure it out, you'll be so much better off and so much farther ahead. And to be quite honest with you, Mike, we're on the cutting edge of cool because our Monday morning motivation last Monday had to do with that exact same thing. You know, the the sum of all your experiences and you can use, you just stockpile all that experience up on top of you. And next thing you know, you're flipping through the file folder in your head to find out an answer (laughs) to a problem that you have today that you learned the answer to 25 years ago. And it's just, it's an impressive system, the human brain. 
Yeah. And it starts with, you know, if we're even going back further than that, it starts with whatever job you are doing, whatever position you are doing, you know, even if it's something that is, maybe it's waiting or bartending, like you have skills that you can, you can kind of craft during that. And it's, building relationships and it's, you know, solving problems and it's, you know, you can, you know, whatever you're doing in the moment, you can figure out a way to get better at it to where you can carry that forward. A lot of people look at their positions and they just use it as a means to an end and they're trying to get out of the current position to the next one. But if you look at whatever you're in right now and really trying to craft that skill that you can do in that position, you're just going to continue to stack and stack and stack those, those skills that are going to make you more beneficial and valuable down the road. One of the tricks that I use is I figure out and you generally know yourself pretty well and you know what your weaknesses are and your strengths are. And I take my, my weaknesses. And if it's something that I don't know how to do, then I usually find an area to learn that and I submerge myself in it. So I basically, I pummel my system with whatever I'm weak at. And uh, generally if it doesn't, if it doesn't make me crack, it, it helps me out. And, uh, I haven't cracked yet, so we're still good. (laughs) That's awesome. Yeah, it's funny. You and you and I are very two different sides of the coin because I I take my weaknesses and I figure out how I can hire them out, how I can you know delegate them, and I really focus on my strengths. So, but you know, either way, it's kind of a personal preference, you know, because to you, Larry, working on those weaknesses, you're you're probably a little bit more well rounded than I am. But I just I, I love being able to delegate those weaknesses and really focus on those strengths to really emphasize and drive the value out of those, but it's really kind of a dealer's choice at that point in time. It is. And one of the reasons why I like to, I I don't want to do the weaknesses. I'm not great at them. I just want to understand them. So then when we do hire them out, you know, I understand what I'm looking for. And that's the only reason that I I generally do that. Cause when we hire it out, I want to make sure that they're not, they're not doing a shoddy job and telling us it's a stellar job, you know, not pulling wool over your eyes. Exactly. Exactly. So a little bit of knowledge is a dangerous, dangerous thing in my hands. (laughs) Yeah. Enough, enough knowledge to question, right. To to push back a little bit. So yeah, for sure, man. So, all right, man, Thursday's episode, dude. Bro, I'm telling you, we're we're lining up some big people, some great knowledgeable people, and people that we just enjoy talking to. Like after we hit stop, we want to sit there and keep talking to them. You know? Yeah, man. We got Thursday. Ryan Murdoch. Yeah. Ryan Murdoch from Open (laughs) Door Capital and Bigger Pockets, of course. But yeah, man, this is this is a fun one. Ryan comes with a just a wealth of knowledge. And it's, it's really cool to hear how he started out in a duplex house hack in a duplex, you know, built up his portfolio in the, on the East coast, started his own brokerage. Um, and then is now living the, you know, the beach life in Maui, um, VP of acquisitions for open door capital. And they're sitting with 42 million under contract right now in mobile home parks with open door capital. So it's really interesting to see a story and how he built that from the small beginnings, you know, to where they're at crushing it in the mobile home park industry and to hear how he did that very humbly. And, you know, many times in his, in his, uh, his journey, having to take a, a step back to take a step forward. Um, this is a good episode, man. Really good episode. Yeah. I can't wait. I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited for, uh, I almost said pumped, but, uh, you know, I'm taking a nap and I'm going to change it to excited for a couple months. There you go. There you go, man. Yeah. You're pumped and excited. And, uh, and for Stuart, right. For Stuart, Stuart. The, the bird who makes an, uh, an appearance on the episode as well. So, so yeah, no, that's, it's going to be a phenomenal episode. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Heck yeah. All right, man. We, uh, we went a little long on our Monday morning motivation. We promised to have this under 10 minutes, but dang it, it was worth it. And it, uh, it was good conversation. So that's all I got, man. How about you? I'm, I'm good to go. You guys make sure you have a phenomenal week. Absolutely. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of the real estate marathon podcast. See you next time. Take care. Thanks for listening to the Real Estate Marathon Podcast. If you found value in any of the content from this show, consider supporting us in the following ways. Subscribe to the Real Estate Marathon Podcast. Leave a rating and review. Continue the conversation with like-minded individuals on social media by heading over to the Real Estate Marathon Podcast Facebook group or follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Real Estate Marathon Podcast.